So again, here is whole tone scale part two, kind of dealing with augmented triads. Here's your augmented triad, right there. From the major, you augment it, okay? And it's also here. I recommend doing this everywhere. You gotta just know your, know how to take a major triad and sharp the fifth. But here's the actual scale. Here's just a quick demonstration, starting on G. That's one, two, three whole tones. And then how I visualize it is I go to the tritone. Okay, like that. And then from there, you can repeat it. And that actually gets us <laughs> from this G, that G, three octaves, four octaves. So the trick, there's a hack to this, is this. Tritone, 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 tritone. Sounds like purple haze. This. That's a tritone interval. One flat five. One flat five. One flat five. Just like we're doing the diagonal diminished arpeggio like this. But we don't want that. That's not what we're going for. We're going for this. Now, say you don't want to do the diagonal method. Okay, that's what I call the diagonal. Visualizing, visualizing that tritone. Root, flat five, root, flat five. If you want to stay in one position, here's the pattern, the shape. I, I'm now visualizing this. It's a G7 with a flat five and a sharp five. Watch this. I'm going to yell it out in tab. Why not? It's hard for me to say tap sometimes in the notes. Three, next string four, next string three. So we have this root flat five flat seven. This is all off the G root. And then cross over here. I call this a zigzag method. B, D sharp, and G again. So you have this. It might take time to get used to this shape, but this is what you visualize. This is like a hack again. And then you could do this. I'm going three notes, two notes, three notes, two notes. These are all whole steps apart. Two notes. That's the full scale. And notice the chord is G7 sharp five. So I'm going. G7 flat five sounds great because that's the flavor of the whole tone. And then I said you gotta resolve it to maybe C major. Whole tone. And of course you could do this. And this. And then resolve. So again, that, that whole tone builds tension. That's their five chord to the one. Okay, you can even resolve to a minor key. C minor, that's C minor six nine. Whole tone. See how colorful that is? C minor. If you're wondering, what do you do on C minor? Maybe blues? One more quick hack. This is all on that worksheet. I'm just kind of summarizing this whole tone scale study number one. It will also say tritone sub. That's your tritone. And that's, again, this is particularly for guitar players who have all six strings, is this is not to play the full scale because there's only six different notes. You can get the same effect, and Django uses quite a bit, by thinking the shape and just by doing this. just adding only a whole step, not worrying about the big stretch. So you just do this. 
So once you map out this shape, these intervals, you could even do this. You could do that shape still and just add a whole step. flavor and so again all I did was map this out in my head that chord and then and then add a whole step above and that's a very friendly fingering it's a zigzag and resolve C major pentatonic whole tone G whole tone Major Penta. Hold on. C major Penta. Hold on. So I'm just thinking this. Right here. Hold on. C major Penta. G hold on. And that's how you add those beautiful, cool colors in.